Hello everyone, I'm David Zarifpour and in this video I want to show you how we can fill out our sheet metal part when we use forming tools. First I design a model sheet metal part. I create a flat sheet metal. From sheet metal tab, I use base flange with 2 mm thickness. And after that, I want to use forming tools. For forming tools, I go to the design library. From design library, I select forming tools. And after that, I drag and drop my forming tools on my sheet metal part. As you can see, the effect of forming tools on sheet metal. I use another forming tools drag and drop on face of sheet metal and click OK now I want to see the flatten of my sheet metal parts if I use flatten in sheet metal tabs nothing will be happen as you can see if I click on flatten nothing will be happen now if I want to see the flat of my sheet metal, I can use surfaces command. First, I use knit surface and click top faces. As you can see, I click just on top faces of my part and click OK. Now I have a surface body. I hide my sheet metal part, right click on cut list and click Hi. Now I just have surface body. Now I can use surface flatten to flat my face. I click my surface from here and in the box of edge to flatten from I click this edge. I can change the accuracy higher and click after that. Okay. As you can see I have a two surface. I right click on first surface. For the second surface is a flatten surface of my sheet metal part. If I right click on surface and click on deformation plot, here I can see deformation of sheet metal. And here we can see the stretch and compression of our sheet metal when we want to use forming tools. This is a simple way when we want to have flatten of our sheet metal. But for more accuracy, we have to use Logo Press plugin or Deform 3D software for more accuracy. I hope this video was useful for you.